everyone this is the first video of our series called essential skills for mechanical engineers in this video we are going to talk about robotics mechanical engineering industrial robots have become vital for the manufacturing processes of many industries making robotics a fast growing industry with more and more manufacturers automating their facilities each year also Many non-industrial sectors like medical, food, and pharmaceutical industries are moving towards automation with robots. There are many types of robots varying upon their size, configuration, payload capacity, and range of motion. They can perform simple tasks to complex tasks including automated welding, painting, inspection, robotic assembly, material removal, and whatnot. Designing these sophisticated manufacturing machines is no easy task. That is why it is left to mechanical engineers. Mechanical engineering is considered one of the best areas of study for those who are looking to pursue a career in robotic technology. Robotic mechanical engineering is important for supporting the advancement of industrial robots, allowing them to automate new industries and applications. Robotic mechanical engineers design the industrial robot's physical structure. This includes the robot configuration, type of robot, joint mechanisms, axis, heat transfer characteristics, mounting positions, among many other aspects that go into the creation of a new robot. CAD softwares are used to create a new robot concept and how to best manufacture it. Mechanical robotic engineering takes conceptual ideas and makes them a reality allowing for the continuous advancement of manufacturing automation. Robotics mechanical engineers are responsible for not only the invention of new robots and robotic systems but also the maintenance of current systems. This includes troubleshooting issues, operating robotic equipment and programming robots to perform desired processes. Safety measures also fall under the mechanical engineering, including the use and integration of force sensors, barriers, scanners, and other safety devices. Mechanical engineering robotics can also be applied to the development and testing of different types of robotic applications. Now we come to the top skills that you need to have in your resume if you want to become a robotics mechanical engineer. First skill is SOLIDWORKS. SOLIDWORKS is highly used in the robotics industry and is the CAD software that you need to learn. Secondly, GDNT. Geometric dimensioning and tolerancing is the language in which you tell the machinist how to manufacture your design part. A CAD drawing means nothing if you don't have dimensions and tolerances in it. Third, linear algebra. Matrices and vectors are used a lot in robotics and that is why linear algebra is very important. It is also going to help you to learn robot kinematics. Fourth, MATLAB. MATLAB is a great tool for matrix operation and it has various toolboxes like robotics toolbox and control toolbox that you can use to develop concepts and show proof of concept, simulation and testing. Fifth is C language. You need to learn at least one programming language to show proof of concept, build test fixtures and gather data to verify your design. So why C? Because C is used to talk to hardware and low level electronics. It is very easy to learn and it can be used to program an Arduino board which can be then used to rapid prototype robot ideas and build test fixtures. C is included in the course curriculum for the first year of engineering. Sixth is design of robot mechanism and mechanical elements of a robot. A robot consists of parts like joints, gears, brakes, bearings, springs and many more. As a robotic mechanical engineer, you need to know how to design, prototype, build, test and assemble these elements. All these concepts are taught in engineering mechanics in the first year and machine design in the second year of mechanical engineering. Seventh, mechatronic concepts like circuits and electrical components, 
microcontrollers, sensors, DC motors, and servers. 8. Robot Kinematics There are three major concepts that you need to learn. Coordinate Transformation, Forward Kinematics, and Inverse Kinematics. PID Controllers Control system design is important to learn in order to build a robot. The most common type of controllers that are used in the robotics industry is PID controllers. It is advisable that you do a project or two so that you have hands-on experience in PID controllers. So these are the top 9 skills that you definitely need to have in your resume if you are looking to work as a robotics mechanical engineer at UpSchool. We have expert mentors who train these skills and help you get into your dream job. See you in the next video.